For me, the most interesting aspect of being involved in the program was being able to see the process of the engineering, the testing of the cars, um, the CAD design, the CFD, and also seeing the portfolios being written and coming together at the end. One thing I had a bit of trouble with, and I think as a team we had trouble with, was time management. Uh, we weren't even four weeks for state, and I think we really had to put out a schedule of what we needed to do and stick to that then. During the process of making the car and all the different things, there's a lot of cogs working together. I have to get the designs to Tom, I've got to work with my team manager, make sure we're meeting deadlines. So really, I feel like my best like, outcome I've gotten from this is learning how to organise my time. I'm used to working with very large deadlines, say, a month or two. In the state, however, we only had four weeks, meaning I had to cram collecting sponsors, doing risk assessments, doing the portfolio, doing recording, everything, and to the span of four weeks. And that was very stressful, but I somehow, I was able to manage. My role in Team Aberration was the graphic designer. So that included things like designing our new state logo, designing our portfolio pages. I think the most challenging part of doing the design work for me was having to learn how to use several different new programs. I've picked up uh, new photoshopping skills I didn't have before, um, Adobe Premiere Pro, uh, Adobe Illustrator. Um, having access to these has been a great benefit and I've really enjoyed learning how to use them. The most challenging part of the design process was making sure that the manufacturing and the engineering elements were compatible with each other. So, um, like developing the car in CAD and then making sure that the manufacturing engineer was able to produce the designed car. So the role I took part for my team was being the manufacturing engineer. And essentially that was to take everything Morgan gave me in terms of files and the way the car looked and to apply that to the actual creation of the car and the manufacturing of the car. So this was stuff such as milling the car, 3D printing the parts, assembling, painting, doing the wheel support and any other little bits and pieces that needed to be done with the car. That was my job. So as part of Team Aberration, I was the design engineer. So this involved doing making the car in CAD, um, testing it in CFD, as well as other things such as creating the pit display. And this was really fun, like making the pit display, you got to show a more creative edge compared to making the car with so many rules. I think the learning experience for me has been quite tremendous for this program. I've learned a lot about different ways of manufacturing, such as using a milling machine, using a 3D printer. Painting is one big thing I've learned and other little bits of assembly and other tips and tricks I think will really help me later on. You actually get real hands-on experience. So as marketing manager, if I were to say go into economics, I may have not had this real life experience of communicating with sponsors in formal language or say writing up a business portfolio. This F1 experience has brought me the chance to actually experience this hands-on. We were struggling to find a name. We had a couple of different ideas and then we'd find, oh, another team's already done it or Mm, maybe it's not the best. I was interested in visual effects and animating and that kind of stuff. So through this, I learned about the term aberration, which in terms of videography is where you have the colors diverting different sections. And I thought maybe this could be useful. And I looked it up and aberration meant depart from the ordinary. And I thought, well, this really works. This is a name, right? We got our slogan, depart from the ordinary, and our name, aberration. I would absolutely recommend F1 in schools for all schools. I think the F1 in Schools program has done a great job in equipping me with a whole lot of uh, creative abilities, creative skills, and I've also gained a better eye for creative graphical design, um, which I think will help me a lot in the future. And for anyone else who is interested in uh, graphic design going into a career of that, I'd highly recommend this option. It's really a more practical, hands-on way of learning. It's something where you can get involved and you can start to rely on yourself I definitely think more schools should start thinking about putting in a team for this. I've learned skills and I know other members of my team have also learned plenty of skills for stuff like this. I think participating at the World Finals would be an amazing experience. I think that it would be really beneficial um, looking to enter the workplace in the future and I think that also travelling to another country and seeing all the other teams who have also been working as hard as we would be would be a really great experience. It would be very interesting participating in the World Finals because as a team, we would all be able to see other countries participate, be able to see their performance and how we can improve if we were to, say, do this again and head to World Finals. I've learnt so much. How to take something, take an idea, take something that doesn't 
isn't yet there and applying it and just putting it into something you can see, touch and feel physically using really your own merits and with the help of others. I think that has really helped me.